Welcome back to my YouTube channel El Gateway Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video we are going to discuss a lot. Um, I have uh, posted a separate video for gold, silver and uh, miners and on the special thing about that video is that on that particular video I've also mentioned three specific dates. Two are very close to us so you uh, want to look at those dates I won't be discussing that on this if the charts comes in front of you you will be able to see the dates but it's bet better to see that analysis separately in today's video we are going to discuss all the major forex pairs that we have uh, which is euro British pound Canadian dollar Japanese yen um, New Zealand dollar Australian dollar US dollar itself and after discussing the forex section I'll head on to discuss the stocks uh, first of all, we'll discuss crude oil, gold, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, S&P 500, FTSE, Nifty, uh, DAX, silver. We can push silver further up a little so that it can, makes a little sense. So we'll discuss gold uh, and silver together, okay? And then Bitcoin and Ethereum will be discussed. That's it. I will not be discussing TLT in the end. I will not be discussing that. So let's go and discuss, first of all, the Forex section. The chart that's in front of you is, is amazing the details I was actually asking for um, forecasting for this push move for a while uh, but we were going through this complex structure alright at least we were not bearish on the move and then we were not surprised by this move on the larger train first of all let's have a look what's happening on a larger train uh, let's go back to four hourly time frame and give me a chance so we are looking at this one we are looking at this impulsive wave corrective wave and then price moving downward okay nothing has changed in that regard we are only waiting for this correction to complete so this 5f structure correction and another 5f structure da downward definitely as far as this structure is concerned we definitely need to go an hourly if you are new to Elliott wave analysis you definitely want to pay attention to the labeling here right away it is the most um, a complex level of labeling that you'll get S sometimes it looks easier sometimes it won't be looking that easier here we have wave A which is double zigzag and wave B which is a, an expanded flat on its own and wave C is further within wave B we can clear see wave A wave B and wave C wave A itself is an A wave structure a wave a three so wave itself is an expanded flat basically so A B three wave structure three wave structure and wave C within wave B is an ending diagonal wave 1 2 3 4 5 beautiful and then once that is complete once wave, wave B is complete and wave A is complete we are looking for a 5 wave structure uh, there is a couple of possibilities I'm going to get, go on with this first one first of all that I'm considering that this is wave 1 right over here the pullback is wave 2 this one is wave 3 the pullback is wave 4 and then fifth one is going to happen and then we'll turn back downward that's again there is a possibility that we have wave 1 and 2 right over here okay so in that regard we can definitely rely on the trend line I'm expecting that we will not be seeing the trend line if you want to be a little more conservative in your uh, confirmation of the trend you can wait for the break of this wave that will once the break occurs, that will confirm that actually our labeling fifth wave structure ended over here but there is a possibility I'm looking at a couple of other charts and they are more indicating that the push upward is expected and hence it looks like very clear uh, structure once we have cleared the stuck completed the structure we started from over here and it took a lot of time to uh, complete we are definitely heading downward so beautiful beautiful trading setup if you're new to Elliott wave analysis or even experienced Elliott wave analyst you definitely want to look at this pattern uh, on an hourly time frame how long it took and how complex it got alright let's have a look at British pound now the British pound structure is um, let me have a look it's showing very interesting structure first of all so we are definitely just ignore this point right here this is what we are looking at right now mm, let me bring the tools section right here and there is a possibility that we are clearly looking for something like this okay that will make it wave A structure wave A right over here wave B right over here and then wave C right over here so wave A itself is an A B C 
an expanded flat wave B is a double zigzag and wave C is a five wave structure let me quickly label that so we can do not get confused right over here A B and C let me go there and change the uh, it to minor it is minor already okay good and after that is complete we are expecting for the price to come downward in this regard in case we are looking for a different correction in that case a break below this would confirm in case this structure is completely a different structure if prices actually drop below uh, let me say this right over here let me if prices below drop below this one right over here we can say that the correction is complete over here but I would not advise to trade this particular movement all right the last movement is it's dangerous and we are when the prices go upward we can move this horizontal to support right over here in this case and we'll be able to draw a trend line combining wave 2 and wave 4 and extended it all the way we can use the horizontal support and the diagonal support and we'll be expecting for the prices to go on the bearish side this chart Canadian dollar is pretty interesting once again we can clearly see a structure wave A right over here wave B right over here and a wave C right over here okay so the structure is pretty clear right over here well, it's a similar thing goes for um, Canadian dollar as well in case we can price goes above that one th that will give a confirmation that uh, the structure is something else so we should be waiting for prices to come down once that price is complete the next uh, I would say few trading days would be definitely definitely bullish on that side so few trading means easily five to ten trading days would be bullish on Canadian dollar uh, that will make the chart since the chart is upside down that will make Canadian dollar weaker against US dollar the next one is uh, Japanese Jan right over here so right now if you're looking for the prices to calm down a little more and then go up okay that will be bullish on the uh, for Japanese gen uh, on the chart once again a similar thing goes by, uh, for Japanese gen as well right over here if prices go beyond 144 that will be indication that it's not further down and the correction completed right over here so you can call it a triple zigzag single zigzag correction double zigzag another pullback triple zigzag and then prices will go upward New Zealand dollar a similar structure that we can see right now this structure is even more complex some of you guys probably can see that um, there is a possibility that we can actually push it all the way right over here okay couple of things I'm looking at it first of all we have a 5 f structure right over here whether it ended over here or over here let's say it ended over here this is a wave A and this hole is wave B right over here and a 5 f structure in case the 5 f structure pre previous 5 f structure completed over here in this case this is an A that's a B and that should be a C ending right over here okay so simple is that we shall be waiting for the last wave to complete this is the diagonal support and that's the horizontal support we shall wait for the prices to complete so this means as soon as this structure is complete we will be turning bearish on the chart uh, once again if you look at a 5 wave structure we have a clear 5 wave structure either it completes over here or over here both things work and then we have an A over here either starting from over here or either starting from over here if prices goes above or in this area we can still say that it started from over here and then we are seeing truncation either way the thing is that we have an impulsive structure and a corrective structure and the beauty of the structure expanded flat structure is is indicating the bearish outlook already we are waiting for the prices to be bearish as in the expanded a new low being created is giving an indication the bearish pressure on New Zealand dollar and all the currency that are actually making this pattern is massive we are def definitely gonna see a lot of uh, bearish price action as soon as the structure is complete okay so wave B would be over ending over here and wave C would be ending over here this one hopefully makes sense 
Australian dollar, the structure is a little more clear right over here. We, we can see that wave A ended right over here. And this is wave B right over here and wave C once again. Uh, there is nothing that actually stops us from this as A, this as B and this as C. In this regard, there is a possibility we can actually see a sharper price action. Alright. As soon as the price moves upward, we can the horizontal support, this is right over here. We can push it right over here. We can also change the, uh, the trend line from over here to the wave 4 and then create a new trend line. That will give us an indication that we have created an A, B, C completion. So be really careful. This structure is complex. It takes a lot of uh, time to deal with the expanded flats. As soon as expanded flat is complete, I believe that from um, probably this will be complete on Monday, hopefully. All right. So keep an eye on this structure. It's this structure is appearing on a lot of uh, indices as well. Okay, this structure is more clear on US dollar itself. Right now we are looking at the DXY, which is US dollar currency against a basket of currencies. So we are looking for the structure itself is more clear uh, here right now. We can clearly see it as a three wave structure, a three wave structure, and a five wave structure. We have one, two, three, four, and five. So this structure is more clear on US dollar itself. As soon as we have completion the structure, we can definitely draw a trend line. That would be combining wave two and four of wave C. And we can also bring a horizontal support line that would be over here. So either way, it's a very interesting trading setup. The patterns are very clear. I was calling for a correction right from the top right over here. The only point is that wave B went on and created a new high. And I was still calling for a turn back. And that's the right we have seen in last couple of days right now. So let's head back to our very interesting section, uh, which is stocks. The first chart is crude oil. So I'm still bearish on crude oil. This is the labeling of crude oil. I was expecting for crude oil to go head, head down to $55. Maybe there is a chance. There is still a chance. We have still uh, three, four days left. I'm expecting a bottom to be formed around 13th of September. Uh, so we have another three, four trading slate days left. I'm bearish on it. Do not worry about the pattern. There is a possibility we can still see a massive move downward. Just be on the alert. I'm not expecting for a larger move, but there is nothing that can actually stop from over here. I'm expecting for the prices to come down in this region somewhere around $75, $76 be creating a bottom. And this bottom will stay for a good while. This bottom will be a good bottom and then we'll start uh, the correction of the whole move that actually started from the top. On the daily time frame, we have, let me go and do that on auto. And so once we, uh, once we complete the structure, you know how much time we have spent on, the, on this particular move. In this regard, we have wave 1 and 2. Wave 3, so wave 4, as you guys can see, wave 2 was really messy. So wave 4 can take how much time? We'll look at into the later. But right now, we are closing, uh, we are approaching the end of the transaction in the next 3-4 days. So I'm expecting something like this right now. Let's have a look on uh, gold and silver. Mm, no, something has went bad. Something definitely went bad. The chart is... Uh, let me let me uh, all right so on the other chart that I have shown there are a couple of dates available it's is good you guys can go ahead and look at the dates right now I'm expecting right now that we are to be on the bearish side and this line is indicating the sharper reversal that is expected to happen after we have completed the bearish outlook so right now I've clearly told you guys that I'm bearish on gold I have mentioned it I was expecting for a pullback to be a little higher but no, that's not the case. We can definitely go on hourly time frame to see what I'm talking about. So I was definitely expecting something like similar, but we have spent a lot of time right over here. That's not going to happen. I'll show you guys what's right now happening. We are seeing the smaller time frame structure or support structure being formed by the bottom right over here. I've mentioned this quite a while that this structure around the bottom, the smaller time frame structure or support structure coming around the uh, a bottom double bottom or double top is very very dangerous on its own it's a very excellent trading setup conditionally that it is actually what we are looking at it right now okay so once the price is crossed the structure this one on the bearish side that will be a confirmation that we have seen a top right over here because this structure on its own kind of gives you a reverse cup and handle structure right over here okay 
So this is itself is a cup and a handle structure on its own. And once the price break breaks down, it's going to be very interesting to see on the other side. I'm bearish, clearly bearish on gold and silver. Let's have a look on uh, what's happening on a smaller time frame though. We still have one more price movement left though. I can still consider this as a double three structure. This double three structure is very, very rare, uh, but it keeps happening. <laughs> The whole reason I'm saying it's very, very rare is because some of the books are mentioning it as a very rare structure. Now we can clearly see this is a three-wave structure. This is a three-wave structure, or you can call this is a three-wave structure and A, B, and three, three, three-wave structure. Either way, you can call it a three-wave structure and a three-wave structure. There is no way we can call it a five-wave structure. All right. If you want to force something, we can definitely call it as wave one and two, wave three and wave four and wave five. Okay, it's up to you. I'm looking right now it as a five wave structure, a three wave structure, and a push upward. That push upward I'm expecting is gonna take prices interestingly in this area, and then we're gonna see the reversal. Uh, this pattern becomes more clear on a 15 minute time frame. Here is what I'm looking at good gold right now. So it looks to me that this structure is complete right now, and we are to go upward. There is still a possibility that we can actually see this. Uh, being formed right over here okay because we have yet not completed the there's possibility that we can actually see this one and then jump up and then come down okay both things are possible the major point is the upward price movement is left this swing is yet left this one whether the prices are going to carry from over here or going to come down and then go up and then come down the main point is the major flow on gold is bearish this little price section is left and if you want to pay attention to this one uh, you want to trade something up to up to you but I wanted to bring this in point once we have created a top right over here I have mentioned a couple of dates uh, you want to you might want to refer to that video and the analysis is also very clear on it but even on that analysis I forgot to indicate that there is still one push further uh, expected to go upward let's have a look at silver right now silver is also moving interestingly and I would say that one push upward is also left okay right over here we are looking for something like this and as soon as silver is complete we'll turn bearish from the top right over here too so similar similar thing nothing uh, nothing uh, more fancy as we are seeing in gold as well Nasdaq okay there's a possibility of this happening can you see an A, a B and a C right over here with wave 1 and 2 completed wave 3 completed we can actually form wave 4 uh, wave 5 will actually push the prices further upward and this structure which are we are seeing right now uh, would be pushing the prices in this region okay let me have a look on hourly time frame uh, there it is okay once we are calling this as wave 1 and once this structure is complete wave an A, B and C structure is complete we are to go on the bearish side so be really careful we are at the tail end of wave 2 be really careful our main focus towards is downside uh, as the prices are going upward then this target is achievable for wave 2 to be completed alright and if you are interested in seeing this pattern uh, daily time frame this pattern is same on um, Nasdaq, Dow Jones, S&P 500. This labeling. Wave 1 right over here, wave 2 right over here, wave 3 right over here, wave 4 and within wave 5 we have completed wave 1. We are very close to the completion of wave 2. 3 right over here, 4 right over here and 5. So I'm expecting 5 not to be further deeper down. I'm expecting that we can actually see a bottom forming somewhere around over here. That should be good enough. 
for uh, for stock market the we can take uh, the target uh, with a pinch of salt all right i'll have I'll let me dig more deeper to see if this is going to be target i'll discuss but we are definitely looking for a five wave structure one two three four and five for timeline i am expecting that uh, when you go back and spend time on gold the timeline that i have given is definitely can be used approximately the same timeline can be used for uh, nasdaq dow jones and s&p 500 let's have a look at dow jones is showing a similar structure um, let me go on hourly time frame so the major structure is still same on the dow jones as well there is the possibility that we are still going through the same structure and the one that we have seen wave a wave b and wave c we have completed wave one and two uh, one two and three and four and pullback should be forming somewhere in this region right over here this area is important okay all of it happens also often then we have seen uh, this is becoming a resistance point right over here so price would jump up and cross the resistance and then the whole pattern would cross and then fall on the resistance right uh, and then in that case the resistance becomes a support right over here so that's uh, uh, quite possibly happening right now I uh, do understand that this is the tail end of the trend and the major trend for Dow Jones is bearish so let me quickly do so we haven't done so for example we can call it the start of the structure wave A right over here wave B right over here and wave C right over here in case prices falls below this one there will be indication that the top has already happened so this horizontal support is important all right right now we are expecting for the prices to jump back up to this region right over here and then turn back downward s and p 500 let me take a sip of tea and then we can discuss so s and p 500 is uh, is showing similar structure we can definitely look at wave a wave b and wave c um, we have this particular area we can see that this area was acting as a resistance price has got pulled back we, we dropped from the top right over here we dropped from the top we have seen a pullback stronger pullback and then prices crashed through it we have not seen the uh, this is this support being or this uh, this is resistance being challenged again so when prices actually fall on that that will be coming resistance will be becoming a support let me actually drag the horizontal support I keep on using on that line so a pullback is something like this would give a four and then we are looking for a further pullback up push up for right over here this will be completing something uh, wave two in case prices actually fall below this one right over here before adding doing that that will actually confirm that we have seen a top right over here and we should turn bearish uh, the wave structure is same for s p 500 uh, nasdaq and dow jones as well footsie uh, i'm bearish on footsie you guys are well aware of it uh, let's have a look at what we are seeing on a smaller time frame uh, on a 15 minute time frame okay so I'm expecting another push upward this hole as wave A which is the double zigzag you can consider it as this as wave B right over here and this as C right over here or if you want to consider in fact of double this because this looks like more like a zigzag pattern because we have not created uh, a double bottom right over here so we can easily consider it as wave 1 and 2 a sharper wave 3 and wave 4 ended right over here and then wave 5 right over here and this is 5 wave structure 3 wave structure another 5 wave structure upward let's have a look on a hourly time frame if you can actually figure out what's happening so this is the previous important low right over here let me see if we can actually yeah this is the line okay visual 
So once that is complete, wave 1 and 2 is complete, we are bearish on FTSE. The major swing stays bearish on FTSE. Do not worry about these small pushes further down, okay? The main concern is the major trend. The major trend stays bearish on FTSE for next weeks to come. Nifty is very interesting. All right. Uh, this is a unique pattern uh, which happens from time to time. And right now I'm expecting that Nifty is not going to straight away down away. Okay. Right now focus on this one. I'm expecting that we have seen this. We'll see this. Whenever this structure is complete, then we are going to come down and form a double bottom right over here. Once this bottom, double bottom is formed, uh, then I'm expecting that we shall actually go upward. If I was to trade Nifty, I would stop trading Nifty. Nifty is entering into very, very dangerous territory. A lot of volatility is expected. And once we have created, because right now these are in our, uh, these, are, these are the territories, you do not want to deal with it. The larger time frame, I'm still bearish on, on Nifty, long time. But a lot of price movement up and down has to go uh, before that happens. So my advice right now for someone who is trading Nifty on the shorter side is, there is first of all, we are expecting something like this to happen. Whenever this structure is complete, it can go price. This structure can push the prices to a, uh, further down, further up, and then come down. So at this point, I would consider Nifty not to be tradable. Uh, extremely, extremely high volatility and unexplained price action is expected. I'll spend a little more time on Nifty and when I show you guys what's expected next. Um, we are looking for some nice pattern to be formed right now. Let's see that we can actually see the top being formed. Whenever we have seen top being formed, uh, I think we can easily go for a, a month easily. <coughs> Give me a moment. So let me take my words back about month. Let's have a look at the price action on its own. As I said, that I'm looking at this one. Once this double bottom is formed, the price shall actually go this one. But this is analysis. As far as trading is concerned, I would advise not to trade Nifty at this moment. Uh, the longer term I outlook for Nifty, I'm bearish. I'm completely bearish on all the stock markets. All right. And I believe that once we have seen a top being formed and uh, clearly the top being rejected by the prices, in that case, we will turn strongly bearish. Right now, the mo major swing is upward and it looks to me that that will actually complete uh, creating a double top. Let's have a look at DAX. With the DAX as well, uh, let's have a look at a 15 minute chart. I want to see that chart. Uh, we want to complete this pattern right over here, the one that we have started. So we, once ever we have completed the pattern, as soon as the pattern is complete, we are to go downward. So I'm still considering this as an impulsive move and a corrective move. As soon as the pattern is complete, we'll go downward. Nothing has changed in that regard. So one, two, three, four, five. That can happen definitely. Let me give me a moment. We can see something like this, or um, we can bring it right over here in this area. Once that is complete, we are looking for a bearish outlook on DAX. Okay. Let's have a look at uh, daily time frame. Okay, there's daily time frame. We can, this is working good. So that as you guys are well aware of it, I'm clearly uh, biased towards the bearish side on DAX and I believe there is more uh, weakness in DAX to come. The only problem right now we are waiting for wave 2 to complete. As soon as it's complete, uh, we'll actually restart our trend which is on the bearish that is actually happened already. So my main focus is on stays on the bearish side. Nothing has changed in that regard. 
once wave one and two is complete wave two is complete we are definitely looking for bearish movement on a smaller time frame I've shown you guys that what is expected uh, so that you are, don't get surprised there is the possibility that we can see another pullback push upward and the prices can actually stay in this region and turn back right over here the major a uh, major um, a point right now for DAX is bearish. Uh, we can clearly see from the technical point of view is uh, that DAX is is much weaker as compared to FTSE we are seeing uh, right in, in in the neighboring country. Now Bitcoin and Ethereum are definitely presenting very very interesting uh, point. While I was studying cryptocurrency against uh, stock market, uh, especially the U.S. indices, I have noticed one thing, and I have noted that the tops and bottoms are a little off they do not go exactly hand in hand uh, for cryptocurrency and for uh, stock market so there is a good possibility there that we are going to see truncation in uh, in cryptocurrency and we'll find a way of how it's going to happen uh, just give me a moment the largest structure that we have right now in bitcoin is wave a wave b and a wave c which wave 5c is a five wave structure we have completed wave 1 and 2, uh, 3 and 4 is complete and wave 5 is going on. Within wave 5 we have hourly time frame and we can look at the data right over here. We can clearly label it is the same structure wave A right over here, wave B right over here and we are looking at a 5 wave structure. Wave 1, 2, 3, 4 another push upward is expected in, uh, in cryptocurrency in Bitcoin right now. This is right over here. So another push upward is expected and as soon as that is complete uh, since we already at a very important support structure so not so strong push anyway uh, as soon as this structure is, com is complete what should happen normally uh, we should actually head downward okay so we can call this as wave one and wave two of five wave one of five wave two of five wave three of five four of five and five of five but as I said, in case truncation happens in cryptocurrency, the prices would definitely go beyond twenty-five thousand. If the price goes beyond twenty-five thousand dollars, that will be our confirmation that we have seen a, a huge, huge truncated uh, truncation being happening in cryptocurrency. In that case, that will be our confirmation that we have seen a bottom in cryptocurrency. Be really careful. I will not buy right over here till actually we have crossed twenty-five thousand. So I, if we are going further down, I believe, uh, on, and then we have only completed wave one, and wave two is going uh, of five is on its way, and then three, four, and five are left. So we still have a month and a half of bottom uh, being created in stock market, and I believe same is the case for cryptocurrency as well. Ethereum is also showing a similar behavior right over here, and let me have a look. So another push upward, yes, there is another possibility of push upward. We are still considering this as wave 1 and 2. This is wave 1 of 5, wave 2 of 5. As soon as that is complete, we are expecting for the prices to complete wave 3, 4 and wave 5. A similar thing, if price goes beyond 2030, that will be indication that we have seen a huge, huge truncation happening in Ethereum. I hope that I was able to provide some um, help in understanding the charts. Uh, wish you good luck with your trading if you like the content please press thumbs up uh, i've spent a lot of time in researching gold and silver especially the dates the two specific dates that we i have mentioned on that chart go ahead and uh, uh, take a look wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye